Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson 12. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue telling time. Uh, we're gonna be going to the half hour. Uh, this time, we're go really gonna start nailing the, you know, getting down to the nitty gritties, I guess, of having our students identify where those hands on the clock really are going to be to reflect the time, whether it's on the hour or at the half hour. We're going to really be helping our students focus on those, those hands, right? So let's get started. So we've got our GeoGebra applet. And again, if you want to use this, you're welcome to. It's, a, it's an applet I created, and there is the URL. So you can pause the video and type down, type in that URL. You can play with it on your own computer. Yeah, much more fun than just watching me do it. Uh, so anyway, we've got our clock. And now parents and teachers, at this point in the game, uh, we can, um, let's see, we can hide the hands. We can show a particular time. All right. And then have our students predict where will the hands go. We can either have them actively predict where the hands would go, or we could just talk about it and then reveal the actual answer. So it's up to you how you do it, but we want to, our students to be really getting uh, to the nitty gritties on where those hands are gonna be. Oh, let's go, let's do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to 3.30. So let's talk about where would our hands go. Well, because it says 30, we know that our minute hand is going to be right at that 6. Now, where is the hour hand going to go? Well, we know that the time is somewhere between 3 and 4. All right, so since it's somewhere between 3 and 4, where is that hour hand going to go? Well, it's going to go as close to perfectly between the two as we can. And that's going to be our prediction for 330. And so now we can reveal and oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so perfect. You can barely even see the difference as I turn on and off the actual analog hand. There you go. And so parents and teachers, let your students play with you, this or some other clock so that they can be telling time either on the hour or on the half hour. So here, once they've got that, it's time to start practicing. So in this case, the directions say write the time shown on the clock or draw the missing hand. So sometimes they're going to tell the time, sometimes they need to draw in the hands. So this first example, it says 10 o'clock, so we need to draw in the hands to reflect 10 o'clock. Well, the minute hand is going to go to 12 because we're spot on the hour. And then where is the hour hand going to go? Well, the hour hand is going to point towards that 10. And there is our clock. Now for two, problem two, it says we need to draw in the missing hands. It says it's supposed to be half past 10 o'clock. So remember, that's going to look like 10.30, half past 10 o'clock. So we know that the hour hand is going to be somewhere between 10 and 11. And sure enough, that's where the hour hand is. And then for the minute hand, we know it's going to go to the 6. So there is our missing hand. So parents and teachers, this is it. Just let your students look at the clock, give the time, or um, look at the time and put in the hands that are necessary. All right. And the last slide, we're just continuing to practice telling time to the nearest half hour or hour. And so we're going to match each picture with the proper clock. So it says, okay, soccer practice happens at 3.30. We need to figure out which one of these clocks says 
3.30. Does this clock say 3.30? No. That clock says it's between 5 and 6, so it's 5.30. Does this clock say 3.30? Well, the minute hand is at the 6, so that's the 30. And sure enough, it's between the 3 and the 4. So this one is 3.30. So that one, and now I'll write it down so we don't forget. This is 330. So we want to connect soccer practice, which is at 330, to this analog clock because this clock says 330. And that's the idea for this slide. It's pretty straightforward, nothing too fancy about Common Core with telling time. Clocks are still clocks, and 330 is still 330. And that wraps up first grade, module five, lesson 12. We are telling time to then half hour. And by the way, folks, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.